Hello, my name is Julie and welcome to my channel. And in this video, I'm going to show you some yarn I have bought off Amazon. There it is. I just bought one kit that's got all this yarn. You may have noticed there are no like labels on any of this. I do recognize the yarn from the picture I got off Amazon because I had bought it before off Wish. And I believe this is milk cotton. They call it, it's called, they call it milk cotton. I'm not sure if it's made in China or if it ships from China, I don't know. But it, this yarn is okay. I have used it before. Okay, I'm gonna take this off for now. I've made this project before in the past using the same yarn I got. And I don't know, I love the colors of it. And it's not, it's, I mean, it's acrylic yarn. And it, 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 I think it's, it's not that bad. It's, it's kind of soft. But I will check out, see if the yarn I bought off Amazon is the same. So from what I got off Amazon, each, each one of these balls is 600 grams. And the yard they gave was 1,968. So I'm going to assume that this whole thing is 1,968. Oh, and I can see it also came with some other goodies. All right. So I'm going to open you up and let's look at each one of these individually. I'm going to have to cut the yarn. Try not, I'm trying not to cut the, let's see the yarn here. Yeah, it feels just like it feels just like that so it definitely look it looks definitely a two three to me this is definitely a two or a three definitely I wouldn't call this a four so it looks like they, this these didn't come with any labels on it so here I'm like I have to show you the colors of each one this one's more orangey. See what we got going on? I'll have to find a place to put these while I put these down because there's a lot of them in here. Yeah, I'll put you right there. Okay. Ooh, I like I like this color. I like all these colors in here. All right. Here is the bag of other notions and stuff. We will get into that in a bit. Purple, one of my other favorite colors. And I think I made, yeah, this is also so similar to, I think I made like, I have a, co a cup and saucer crochet tutorial. This almost looks like the same yarn too, but I don't think it was, this is pretty thin. I don't think it was this thin. This is, yeah, to me, it's almost two or three, but here's a purple one. Here's another pink one. And here is another, almost similar. Similar to the other pink one. This one's got more white in it. So I have a yellow one. Here's a yellow. It's a green one. one. Might see if I can make a hat. If that's enough here for a hat. Actually, I have another blue one in here. Might use the blue for hat not hate. This almost feels cottony too. Well, I guess it's called milk cotton. I think I remember seeing it called milk cotton. So it does kind of, 
though I believe it's a, technically an acrylic yarn. Okay, the blue one. Another, another blue one here. So my these blues might be going into a hat. Yeah, I think I got this one. It has some blue in it too, so maybe those three together. Maybe this still I don't know. Oh, this one's got blue in it. This one, this one had blue in it too. I think the rules for hat not hate is well, something like 70 some percent blue. So it has to predominantly be these two and maybe we'll throw a couple of those in there for accent. I like, I like this color. This color is interesting too. Got green and red. Finally, I have another orangey one. So whatever project I use, I might try to keep like the like items together. Like I might keep these three together. I got these pinks. Okay, I think I had these in the hat, not hay, but these three look pretty decent together. Then I got well, I got purple and green, but purple is my favorite. I got, I got one more. Okay, so let's look into what I got in the container of notions. See what we got here. It looks like I see some more stitch markers. Okay. Looks like a ring, but I think it's kind of like, I think it's like, like a thimble. Like if you were to like, I hardly use these, but I think, I think that's what that's supposed to be. Okay, I believe this is a pair of scissors. Can never have too many of those. Oh, okay. These I might store somewhere if I can't find. Yeah, it always seem like I was losing a pair of scissors. So, a pair of scissors. I have to take all these out, and I gotta try to put them all back in when I'm done. Oh, something got caught in here. Tape measure. All right, this looks like I got a bunch of assorted stitch markers. But it looks like I got different kinds of stitch markers. I do like these, but I think I got these kind of stitch markers too. And I have these little ring ones. I think these would be more useful as stitch markers if for knitting. So I got and multiple different, look okay, at I got a bunch of these little stitch markers. And I got different colors of I happen to grab two pink ones on I there's an orange one in here and I got green ones in here. No clue what okay. I have no idea what okay, you're gonna tell me in the comments what this is. I really I don't even know what this is. Because it looks like is it a clamp? Okay, because it looks like this slides. Okay. I have no idea what this is. I, I don't even know how to, what to use this, so please, please let me know what this is. 
we'll call it the clamp thing. So it looks it looks like or a pair of tongs. It looks like a little mini pair of tongs. Actually, that that's what it is. But I don't know what I don't know what I'd use it for. So that's in here. These I think I got four. I got two green ones and two pink ones. These I believe are gonna. I've never. These will probably come in handy. I think I can put these on the end of knitting needles. One moment. Yeah, I think I think that's what this is for. I think. Obviously, I need a bigger. I, I think that's what that's for. Like if you're knitting and you're going away for parts, so it don't slip off. I think that's what that's for, and that would come many a time when I walk away. You know have projects slip off and I wish I had more of these because these would come in handy for double using the double pointed needles for like socks and stuff because I have it comes off all the time so that could be useful for that a plastic yarn needle you can never have too many of those either Quite sure what these are. These I think are also used in knitting. It might be like if you make cables and stuff that these kind of will hold hold them like in a couple stitches in front or back. So I'm I'm thinking, correct me if I'm wrong, that these are used for cables. But see, that's what I thought. What these are? I know that that's what these. See, I would use these. These are also for knitting that if you want to hold some stitch, if you need to hold stitches off your needle, keep them from unraveling. That's, that's what these are for. I already own a couple of these too. Let's see. Okay. I think this would be more of a sewing tool, but it's a seam ripper. I don't know why they would include a seam ripper in, in a yarn kit, but maybe it'll help pick up stitches that you drop. I usually use a crochet hook for that. And I think finally, this I might have to keep an eye on. I might have you out. This is a smaller, this is a smaller yarn needle. This I think I'm going to keep out. I'm not going to put back in here. I think I'm going to keep this one out. I might put it back. I don't know. So now I gotta put all my stuff back in here. So that is all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed that yarn haul. I will obviously will leave a link in the description if you want to get your own. Like I said, I've used it before. And I, I kind of like. I kind of like it. I mean, it's not the highest quality. But I'm always intrigued. The colors, always. I'm always, I always, I just love the colors of this. Now it might be a little hard to put these all into one big project, unless you don't mind. I personally wouldn't mind. It would almost have like a scrap yarn vibe. And if you did like this video, please give it a like. If you want to see more content like this or any of my crochet tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye now.